Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Galaxy Note 4. Now the Note 4 is already pretty fast in the way it moves, but there is a way to speed it up even further. Now how we're going to start with this is by going into the settings menu, scrolling all the way down until you get to about device. In about device, you're going to go here and you're going to scroll up and you're going to hit this one right here, build number. You're going to hit this repeatedly. It's seven times and once you're done, it will have developer options has been unlocked. Now what this allows you to do is under developer options, you can go to the drawing category. Now, it's very important you don't touch anything else in this area. This could mess up your phone. So only touch what I'm telling you to touch. There you have three things right here. Window animation, transition animation, animator duration, scales. You're going to change each of these from 1x to 0.5. What this does essentially is tells the phone, hey, it normally takes you a second to do all of these things. You can do it in half a second. And now, your first vision to it is going to be that this will move much quicker. So you can see that it's just going to move much quicker than it did before. Now, the second part of this is disabling the double tap via the home screen on S Voice. So you do have to get through this. So even if you don't ever plan on using S Voice, you have to get through this. So you have to get through next, agree, next, you can say do not allow if you don't always want this to listen, so that's fine. And you're going to hit start. Once here, you're going to go into the settings button right here. And you're going to disable open via home key. What this allows for is a much quicker home press so that when you press home, you go home much more quickly. So it's a very quick and uh, easy, simple fix. So you have that ability as well. Then what we're going to do is we're going to swipe over this side and disable this. Now this is the new My Magazine. It's basically just only Flipboard now, so Samsung's taking no credit for it, but it tends to slow down the way your home screens move. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hold down this button right here. And normally this is the multi-screen button, so you can move between your apps. But in this case, if you hold it down, it's kind of like the old menu button that you used to have down below. And once you go into home screens, you can disable flipboard briefing and you can move the transition to none. This will make it much, much quicker. You already notice how much quicker this device is now than it was before. It's just everything will move more quickly than it did before. So it really does work. Now the last and final thing you want to do is get ready, get rid of any of the built-in apps or bloatware that your uh, carrier brings. So and that is just hitting this menu button right here and hitting the uninstall. So you can just uninstall the Samsung built-in apps like S Health, S Voice, Smart Remote, Dropbox, a lot of the Google apps, uh, whichever ones you don't use. And what this will allow for is to uninstall any of these apps that you have no need for. Um, this, of course, allows for a couple of things. One, your device is going to move quicker. Two, you will actually not have these running in the background, so not only is your cache, RAM, and everything else better, but also your battery life will improve as well. So these are some quick tips on how to make your Note 4 as fast as can be, and you can see this really will make it much faster than it was before. Hopefully you liked this video, please give a like thumbs up if you did, and if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been RCKY, the Android Guy.